Hey, folks, you have to get a joy book. You have to get a joy book, and on one page, uh, you write down all the good things you did, and on another page, you write down all the bad things that you did, and then you say you're sorry, and that you're wrong, and that you regret it, and that you're ashamed of yourself, and you don't ever want to do it again. And then we uh, count 20 blessings every hour. Easy. That's easy. And then we pray to five people who have done us wrong. And we pray to those people and say, make the connection. Make the connection. Get up there where the world is beautiful and the universe comes down with you with all those blessings. And we pray that they will see the light, the illumination, and that they will know the exhilaration and the ebullience and the ecstasy. And we pray that they will make that connection all the time and go out and make new friends, folks. The more friends you have, the better. Go out and make no, new friends, give you more to love and give more to love you. And you do something nice for somebody as often as you can. Keep improving that and keep increasing that. And you don't think of yourself and you don't think of evil. And remember that this is our Father's world. Oh, why should my heart be sad? That though the wrong seems off so strong, he is the ruler yet. He trusts us with his world to keep it clean and fair. All rocks and trees, all skies and seas, all creatures everywhere. We are stewards. He trusts us with this world, with this beautiful world that it took him five billion years to make. He trusts us with it. And Matthew, uh, Six. We're on Matthew 6 now. This paper is getting kind of wet in the drizzly rain. Uh, Christ says, if you forgive people their trespasses, then your Heavenly Father will forgive you yours. If you forgive others, then the universe will forgive us. And then Jesus' teaching on fasting. Fasting is a good idea. I fast every morning until noon and I find that very helpful and it says don't when you fast don't complain and look hungry and uh, that thou appears not unto people to be fasting but your father which sees in secret will reward you in secret but that's not the reason you fast it's a smart thing to do uh, This is a good one. Treasure in Heaven. We're still on the book of Matthew on a wet, wet joy book. Uh, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust corrupts and where thieves can break through and steal. What is your treasure? Your treasure is doing good. Your treasure is being happy. Our treasure is standing out in the rain and getting our joy book all splattered. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For, you know what comes next, don't you? For where your treasure is, your heart is. Your heart, your mind. Now let's see if we can. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good joke for today. You know about the couple? They couldn't afford to go to Niagara Falls on their honeymoon, so where did they go? They went to the car wash. They could easily come out today and get the same effect. Now our word again today is alert. We are brisk. 
We are lively. We are on the watch. We are prompt. We are ready. We are vigilant. And we are wide awake to the universe, to others. This uh, is number 40, Cheer Up, and it's for Friday, December the 19th. 2014 Anno Domini, and the reason it's so dark, of course, folks, of course we haven't seen the sun for about six days, but we know it's there. We know it's there. Uh, and if this is the 19th, why it's only three days to the winter solstice, when the sun seems to rise in the same place for a couple of days, and then the daylight starts to get longer and we no longer have daylight that lasts only nine hours. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, Pops. All of you, Pop Club. We love you, folks. Well, let's take this in and try it under the lamp.